Hal is wheezing and coughing, his cheeks turning blue. The symptoms of his asthma attack may be common, but students at Columbia University's School of Nursing say treating them is far more challenging in a clinical environment than a classroom. It's going to help open up your lungs. Well, the textbook, I think, doesn't talk back to you. So especially when you're dealing with pediatrics and a child that's scared of something or doesn't want to do something. Hal is a state-of-the-art medical training mannequin who, under the control of a nearby instructor, talks and conveys emotions in addition to symptoms. His body works with a broad range of patient monitors and sensors, while robotics allow him to simulate nearly a dozen facial expressions, including fear, anxiety, and anger. I think that what Sim offers us is like the opportunity to really explore like the empathy component of healthcare and treating patients and people and their family as like not just like someone who has an as asthma exacerbation. One more time. Actors are also used in simulations. Here, one plays Hal's father. Is it possible just to go get a smoke really quick and call my wife just to find out where she's at? Well, when she comes in, there'll be... Much of this kind of training used to take place on the job, but as healthcare becomes more high-tech, so has the training of medical professionals. The simulation center has the look and feel of a real hospital with operating rooms and even a maternity ward. The idea is to better prepare students for the real world so their patients will have better outcomes. So simulation is over. Students so review their experiences study. afterwards in the boardroom. Studies show that simulation improves their critical thinking, clinical judgment, and communication skills, with communication errors one of the leading causes of harmful mistakes in healthcare. It really shows the true aspect of what nurses do, um, that we're not just a skills-based profession, but there's a lot of thinking, clinical decision um, making involved. Which is why more training like this may be just what the doctor ordered. Kristen Salumi, Al Jazeera, New York.